So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw an old Nokia phone following our old technology theme. So you're going to continue working on your sketchbook page where you've drawn your camera and your cassette tape and what you're going to do is you're going to decide on a clear space for your phone to fit into. Um, I'm drawing the old um, Nokia but you can choose a different model from the PowerPoint if you wish and we're just starting off by drawing a clear neat rectangle and what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I've lined up the top of the ruler with the top of the page to ensure that my lines are straight and I'm just making some marks in the middle of the um, my page just to make sure that both sides are even and equally distributed. So you're going to continue with your drawing by rounding off the edges of the foam. What you'll notice is a lot of the phones had slightly rounded edges to them and especially with the Nokia the top half of the phone is wider than the bottom half. So I'm just rounding off the edges and making some of my pencil lines darker and you're then going to start drawing in the main features of the phone which you'll see are very different to the phones that you have today. So we're just marking in the screen here, again, just with very delicate pencil lines, a lot of them which might get rubbed out. And because they're so delicate, they're going to be really easy to erase. And I'm using that middle um, line I made earlier to help me work out where the buttons are going to go. So there's quite a lot of buttons on the um, old Nokia um, phones so that you want to make sure that you separate them correctly. So I'm just drawing four equal rectangles along the phone at the bottom just to space out where those buttons would be. And I'm just going to start adding in the other main shapes of the phone as well. So start to add in the final details where appropriate. What you'll notice here is I'm just rubbing out the Nokia and doing it again. What you'll notice is the K is right in the centre of the phone underneath the line that I've drawn. So by putting the K in first, it means that I know that the Nokia sign itself is going to be in proportion and in the correct place on my phone. I'm also then just going to sketch in some of the buttons. And um, What you'll notice is a lot of these lines are guidelines. You may erase them, but they're there to just help you to get the correct proportion as you go along. So keep sketching in and then rubbing out as you need to. So as you come to work on the buttons, you're going to mirror the shape that's the um, centre button just above um, where we're drawing now. And what you'll notice is the button shapes are different. Okay, so we're starting off with the centre buttons and there's four rows of them. So each shape is going to be as equal to the one beforehand as you can get it. Don't worry if they are often a little bit wonky, just keep using your rubber and erasing it until you get the right size. And then you're going to start by adding in the other buttons as well. What you'll notice is it's a mirror image. So the buttons on the right hand side will be the complete opposite to the ones on the left. So you want to make sure that you try and keep the same height and length and width of each button to try and make it look as realistic as possible.
Okay, so now that it's time to add colour, you just want to very gently go over the top of your drawing with a rubber to erase any dark guidelines that you no longer need so that they don't interfere with the coloured pencil you're about to apply. And as you'll notice here, I'm just going over and adding a gentle blue colour pencil outline to replace the original drawing pencil outline that we had because um, that's going to give a more interesting effect and it's going to mean that there's less of a, a harsh outline on your drawing at the end. So you're just going to go through and block in all the main shapes. I usually find that if you do this first, then adding the shading after is much easier because you don't have to worry about going out of the lines. Okay, and rather than pressing um, really hard with your pencil, just going over and over the line again is going to give you better control. Okay, so make sure you've got a nice sharp pencil. Again, rub out any other guidelines that you've got around the buttons or any of the outside edges, just so they don't interfere with any of your shading. So continue with your colour until it looks something like this um, and then what we're going to do is just go in and add some again some darker edges. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to bring out the uh, silver part of the phone a little bit. I've decided to change the proportion slightly. So again by pressing really lightly with your pencil you can still do that at this stage if you want to tweak the size of things and just gently going over each shape before adding some shading onto it. Okay, what you'll notice here as well is again to make it more realistic, the edges of the phone screen are ever so slightly curved and that's going to give the hint that it's a more realistic observational drawing rather than um, a very heavy block pencil drawing. So what you can also do in this is blend some colours together. So I'm just adding some lime green and some dark green below the phone screen just to show the reflection of the colour um, the screen would have if the phone was on. And we're just going to blend some blue in on top. So the green's not so harsh, but when you compare it with the blue tones around the buttons, it is going to be a slightly different shade. And that way, again, it's going to give you a more effective um, final study of your phone because you've got more variety of tones in there. And we're just going to go around and just start defining things. It might be at this stage that you want to sharpen your pencil again, just so you've got a nice um, crisp line, uh, whereas you'll find a slightly more blunt pencil is easier for shading in bigger sections. So continue to outline each of your buttons, making sure that the bottom of the button is usually a little bit thicker than the top to show that 3D element of the phone. And then just very gently going over any details that you need, including the top of the phone, the edges and any buttons left. So I'm just adding some lime green and some darker green to the Nokia screen and what you'll notice from the image on the PowerPoint or if you've ever seen one in person is that the screen always has a green tinge to it. So I'm just adding some green there and just some darker green around the edge. Um, what you'll notice also from the image on the PowerPoint is there is a pixelated to almost screensaver. If you want to draw that in you're more than welcome. If you want to keep it as a plain screen it's completely up to you but try and include the green tinge because even when the phone was off it would have this almost kind of strange um gray kind of um shade to it it wouldn't be a white screen or completely black screen and we want to try and make our studies as realistic as possible
so I'm just doing the final smudging and what I'm going to do in a second is using my nice sharp drawing pencil I'm just going to find some of the shapes and some of the buttons on the phone just to make them more crisp and then what you'll find with the buttons is um, each of the buttons has a series of letters on it and a number so I'm just going through and referring to the image as much as I can for that just to make it as accurate as possible you will have to draw the letters very very small so it'll help if you've got a nice sharp pencil nib to help you get that definition that you need.